The United States Navy puts great resources towards environmental protection and doing what's right out here at sea. It's where we operate, it's where we work, and we're passionate about it. So as a member of the environmental team, our goal is to clear a mitigation zone around the, um, the actual charge that we're going to be using for this event. The zone is three and a half nautical miles. We start about five hours prior to any event and uh, we're constantly clearing the zone of any marine life. We have uh, nine PSOs, Protected Species of Observers. We use high-powered uh, big eyes that are about 25 times the power of a regular binocular or regular eyesight, along with handheld binoculars that are specialized for the marine environment. We also have environmental aircraft. We have a MART vessel, which is uh, short for Marine Animal Response Team. We're looking for splashes, any sort of movement in the water that might uh, be a marine wildlife. Once we spot uh, a, what is a sighting, uh, we report that to our protective measures coordinator who tracks it on their computer. I have some marine animal tracking software here that uh, plots the sightings as they come in. Every 15 minutes, rather, updating the position of the charge that our mitigation zone is moving with us. The duration of the event could be hours, so we're actually trying to keep that zone clear ahead of the ship and also around the ship. So our plane is actually monitoring 15 miles ahead of the charge. And then later, later as we get closer to detonation, the plane will actually come back and clear the actual mitigation zone that three and a half nautical miles. If we even notice a splash beforehand, we notify the PMC right away so that uh, even if it's five minutes before the shot trial, we will shut down and make sure that that is not a marine wildlife that's in the, in the zone and it will keep things on hold until it exits the mitigation zone.